Remember, on point had a 52 million rand PMU tender. Beat Rampedi works for the Star newspaper as a senior investigative journalist. And part of its responsibility. He's one of the reporters who exposed tender fraud in Limpopo. Project management help with the awarding of tenders. In most cases, what happened was that you'll have a, a group of politicians, senior civil servants, and business people. These people will sit together, discuss a particular tender, to say, look, we want to give you this tender, but once we get it, we'll need to benefit one way or the other. Rampedi says it didn't take him long to establish which government departments were being defrauded in Limpopo. It's not part of the SARS talking about roads and transport, you're talking about health, you're talking about public works, and you're talking about education. And these four departments have actually been the cash cow of a small uh, group of people. Our support... Premier Kassel Matale has been blamed for the wholesale looting of the province. Some say he should never have been appointed in the first place. Remember, Premier Kassel Matale was a business person even before he became a Premier. It was very wrong of Lituli House to appoint a business person to serve as a Premier of a province. And do you know where the money came from? Rampedi uh, says government money in Limpopo circulated in the same hands at the height of the tender uh, corruption. Okay. Allegedly due to the political influence of Matale and his close ally, former ANC Youth League President Julius Malem. You had long-established companies which are obviously owned by so-called pre-approved people. These are the people who are, uh, you know, close to the powers that be in the province. And when we say powers that be, we're talking about? I'm, I'm, I told you, you're talking about uh, the Premier and, and Julius. This week, a number of people were arrested for a 63 million rand pothole tender scandal in the province, as well as corruption at the company which runs the Polokwane International Airport. They follow high-profile politicians and business people who appeared in court last year for fraud. National government says the intervention team, tasked with stabilizing the province's finances, is continuing its work. Cabinet has not said when the intervention team will pull out of Limpopo. Paul Mgambi, Johannesburg. News that moves.